Hey everyone, today is Friday, the 9th of December. I'm interrupting the Star Wars Galaxies videos. I will be posting as many as I can, as often as I can, uh, for as long as I can. So, there you go. Uh, but uh, I, was, I was just thinking a little while ago, uh, I have a very tangential thinking process. And so it was like, you know, I was thinking about Star Wars, and I was thinking about Star Trek, and then Babylon 5, and... The, Something was said in Babylon 5, like, humans build communities, and I'm a human, and, you know, building communities is a human trait kind of thing, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, it got me to thinking about, um, uh, back in 2006, I participated in a study abroad program. Uh, it was called a pre-law uh, study abroad, but it really didn't have much to do with pre-law. Uh, so I went to the United Kingdom for about three weeks. Um, spent most of it at Oxford, or in Oxford, at New College. Funny story, though, New College is actually pretty old. In fact, it's older than the United States. Um, but anyways, I could... I was always fascinated with how old the school was. Uh, the room I was staying in, the uh, I could walk out of the dormitory I was staying in, and there's the old city wall. There's stained glass everywhere. There's ancient stonework. There's it's just it's a beautiful place, and I loved learning there for as long as I was there. Uh, I wish I could have stayed longer, and I want to go back pretty badly, but that's beside the point. Uh, this was during the time when um, uh, Israel was firing rockets in Lebanon. Because Lebanon had fired some rockets into Israel, or I don't know, I don't remember all the details. It's, it's been five years. So, uh, but I remember uh, Hamas had recently come into power in Lebanon. They got voted in, and there was this Lebanese girl that, for the life of me, I cannot remember her name, uh, because she only told it to me once. <laughs> and she, we were sitting there watching BBC News, uh, and uh, she was quite heartbroken over it. Uh, she couldn't go back home because if she was to go back home, she would have been arrested and so on and so forth because uh, she was a proponent of free speech in a part of the world that doesn't necessarily have it. So anyways, um, you know, I, I spent a lot of time with her getting to learn about what was going on, the political situation and so forth. Uh, but when it came to my country, I was really surprised at how little she actually understood it. I, uh, the, the case I'm referring to is there was some talk about, uh, at, the president, uh, at the time the president was uh, Bush, um, uh, 2006. So, uh, you know, he was kind of our representative to the world. And we, you know, when he was initially elected, it was... The country was pretty much 50-50. Um, and then the second time around, it was more in his favor, but it was still kind of close. Um, so she didn't seem to understand that he was our president, but the country was split on him. Like, when he got elected, it was pretty much, uh, the first time, it was pretty much a 50-50 split. And she didn't really comprehend how that could be. And I was like, well, no, I didn't vote for Bush either time, but and it's, it's in the past now, so no biggie. Uh, but the, uh, I couldn't vote for him the first time. I wasn't yet old enough. God. Anyways. God. So I was trying to get across the fact that um, he, whereas the entire country did not vote for him, the entire country stands behind him. And it was, it's the concept of these are the United States. Every state is in effect its own little country. And we're just a conglomeration of little countries that agreed on certain fundamental things to have an overarching, you know, kind of an umbrella uh, federal government that takes care of the interconnection stuff that we can entrust all that crap to while we handle our own internal stuff. And we all agree to abide by certain rules and regulations, and this way we don't need a passport to travel from Virginia to California, or anywhere in between. So, 
but the, the thing that boggled her was, you know, how can you have a unified country when half the country doesn't elect the president? And it, it's really hard to explain it, I guess. Or I suppose it's really hard to not understand it, but I've grown up with it. it, it it's... He, it doesn't matter if I voted for him or not. If he gets into office, there he is. That's my president. I, you know, don't mess with him. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's really hard to explain uh, these sorts of things to someone who's not entirely familiar with uh, a republic. Um, but I tried. Um, it was a we. It was really great getting to know her. Uh, I wish I could have gotten to know her better. Uh, I, honest to God, don't remember her name. I don't know where she went. I wish I knew. Um, she was very, very pretty. Wow. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, that's all I got to say on that. <laughs> so you get an anecdote from my tangential thinking. Uh, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be posting more and more Star Wars Galaxies videos until I run out of them. So there you go. Uh, my priority on next Thursday will be Galaxies, not Tor. If I get in to the early access by then. At this point, I'll be happy to not be in until the 16th. But whatever. Anyways, until next time.